Oh, got him. Oh. Hopefully he bite. He's got him. Oh, my drag is not set. No, did you see that guy? Got him. There he is. Oh, gosh. What's up y'all, welcome back. We're breaking out the hot tamale today and we're actually gonna be doing an on the water test of our newest reels. We've grabbed some new Shimano's. We have got for one, the Corrado BFS. This is the bait finesse systems reel. It's got a very shallow spool. It's good for uh, light stuff that you might be throwing on a spinning rod and reel combo. So we also have the new Scorpion DC. We just broke it out for the other day pond fishing, but today we're going out on the boat. Hopes to catch some big fish on both of these new reels or at least get some numbers and kind of give you that on the water uh, first impressions and review, but first, I don't know if you guys watched our whole East Texas series, but you know it ended with the strap on our boat breaking as we were cranking it up. What we did is we got a replacement strap. It came with its own little safety strap. It's a little bit longer than the one we originally had, but we had to cut it because of the way we had it rigged up to get back home safely. What we need to do real quick before heading the water is just uh, toss this guy back on here and get this thing all rigged up and ready so we can see if this strap is going to hold up. It's an aftermarket one. If we like it, we'll tell you where we got it. But if it breaks on day one, we'll probably just scratch that segment. So we'll tell you if this thing works here in a little bit. Let's get to the water. All right, y'all, we made it out to the spot. We are actually at Timber Lake. It is an exclusive private water fishing property. You can actually reserve the entire lake to yourself for the entire day. It's all yours, totally private. You can actually save 50 bucks off of initiation if you want to become a private water fishing member. Link in the description. That's all I got to say about that, man, until we get on some bigs, and we're going to try and do so with some new equipment and rocking some new apparel. Guggen Squad just hooked us up, Devin and I, with a whole box of all the brand new summer wear, which is my favorite way to fish. You know, a lot of folks, they go out there, tank tops, t-shirts, Devin's in a tank right now, but I prefer to not be getting beat down by the sun. Yes, it's a long sleeve. You might think it looks a little warm, but absolutely not. I would much rather be in the comfort of a breathable long sleeve with the hood than getting my neck sunburnt, my arm sunburnt, and feeling that pain instead. So, the new gear. If you didn't see the unboxing of the new Scorpion DC, check that out. It's one of our recently posted videos. The thing is an absolute beast. A JDM. You can only get this exclusively from Japan. There's not many places to order it. We're going to try and catch a big fish on the Scorpion DC today this is the new 2021 year model and then the brand spanking new i think you guys have seen it in the video but i have not even spooled it up and we're about to do so this is the bfs corrado this brand new it's almost like the alternative to your spinning reel if you want to throw light baits let's get this thing spooled up devin's gonna start casting let's see if we can catch some fish for you guys man an awesome property out here i cannot wait to get started hey look at you what do you think of the new shirts out here <laughs> i got the the dito bug shirt in this uh, white color it's pretty cool maybe it'll help me catch a, a big fish I don't know how deep it is, but right here, right here is going to be shady. I'm going to work this for just a second. It's pretty shallow. Oh, got him. Hey, let's go. Oh, he chased up after it too. I was kind of bringing it back up to the surface and he hit it almost like a frog. But nope, that's the crack and crawl. Sprayed lettuce. Wow. One ounce weight, flipping hooks connected on the first try. That is cool. I've never used these things before this brand. So uh, that's a deal. Four aught. Wowzers. Thank you, bud. Hanging out in the grass, huh? So we weren't wrong. I feel like this guy would have hit a top water too. First fish in the boat out here on Timber Lake. He wasn't very deep in the grass. I'm going to see if that's the continued trend as I kind of make some more flips in here and see what happens. But also at this body of water to keep the fishing pristine and good for the members, you're supposed to remove any bass 14 inches or below from the lake. So I'm pretty sure this guy's a 14er, but we're just going to double check him. Oh yeah. He's going to go for a 15 and a half. All right, sir, you are healthy enough to get caught by future PWF members. See you, bud. Big jig might be like the best thing. It doesn't seem super grassy on the bottom. Got one. He was shallow. That's a good one. Oh, shoot. That's a good one. Wow. Oh, good. Watch your rod. Watch your rod. <laughs> Rod's more important. <laughs> he is 
Uh, got to be off to a slow start, really trying to figure these fish out. The water is hot. I mean, we're sitting in 91 degrees right here in about 13 feet. We tried getting up shallow, going along the edge that is already in the shade. And uh, that's where Weston caught that one, but we haven't had much luck since then. Really just slow popping that Texas rig in that sprayed lettuce bandito bug. The clarity here is definitely not the greatest. So we're having to throw something that stands out a little bit more, but that's a good healthy fish. Definitely over 14 inches, so he gets to stay. And we might be starting to dial these fish in a bit. I'm thinking they're gonna be at like seven and eight feet. So I imagine like casting over here is the best bet. Cause like if we cast here, I think they're gonna be suspended, but they're only gonna go down to like wherever that thermocline layer is, it looks like. If you cast at these deeper trees, it's almost like you don't let it fall all the way down. You just kind of like let it go. Then you're like, okay, probably wasn't one on it. No. Fish? Yeah. Oh, there's a bite. He's got, no. Yeah, yes, he does. Okay, wow, golly. I'm like, did I miss another one? <laughs> there might be a couple on that tree right there. All right, y'all. Second fish for me, that one on the black and blue jig. That's another decent one right there. Heck yes. All right, we're kind of figuring this thing out. So let me tell you guys something. There's a thermocline layer here. You can kind of see. Oh, yeah. Devin's on too. They're right in these trees. This is perfect depth. I'm going to explain this to you guys <laughs> after we double that? up right quick. Check that out. That's dope. <laughs> Both throwing spray lettuce. I'm going crack and crawl on the back of that juicy jig. It's a half ounce. She's throwing a quarter ounce blue tungsten weight with the uh, sprayed lettuce bandito bug. And so what's happening, guys, I'm going to spot lock this as she drops the fish. <laughs> so look, as the motor scans, you can see that thermocline layer where the water temperature shifts. It's right at eight feet. And there's some fish hanging out right on that line. I'm going to go ahead and get him back in the water. Can nice. Hold on to him. Nice double up. Yeah, we'll probably put him in the live well. That, that one's over 14 though, so he's good to stay in the water. But we're going to save a couple decent ones for pictures and if we catch any tiny ones they're also going to go in the live well because you got to remove any 14 and below out here so there goes him so i think we figured it out y'all i'm going to explain that thermocline layer to you right now so right about at eight feet there's a water temperature shift okay and these bass are hanging out just above it we're seeing some bait fish we're seeing probably some crappie that are hanging out on these trees but just isolated and they're hanging out right at that six to eight foot depth like right above that change in temperature which is so crazy because you think okay i should be throwing a texas rig at every one of these trees letting it drop down to the bottom and seeing if i can get some fish off the bottom well they're not hanging out down there today they're just simply not down in that 14 to 15 foot depth you might be able to find some but they're liking that temperature eight foot and above so what we're doing is working the tree specifically between the shallows and about that eight foot depth region we're sitting in about 13 feet right here so that means this tree might not hold any fish but that one right over there this one over here that one over there and we're looking at these ones in like that two to eight foot depth that might hold plenty of bass and we literally just pulled two back to back off that exact pattern I would imagine those trees we just hit are probably four to eight feet and that's where they're chilling today guys so sometimes just take a look at your electronics notice maybe that lake has that one of those thermocline layers you've heard me talk about it recently I'm not sure if it's more prominent in summer I mean this is our second season and fishing off the bass boat but uh, I believe it shifts like it kind of flips like in winter versus like summer or maybe spring versus fall I'm not sure when that happens but just kind of keep an eye on what the fish are doing in your area if you happen to see that shift you'll notice it's just a little bit more grungy like there's there's almost just some more noise being picked up by your sonar or your pan optics, etc. And you can kind of identify that flat line layer and they're just hanging out right above it. So I'm not going to bore you anymore with all the scientific talk, but it is coming in handy. We're going to flip the rest of these trees in the shallows and see if we can catch some more fish. No way. Oh, I thought I had another one. Maybe he picked it up and let it go. Piece of grass. Oh, there we go. Oh, my drag is not oh, set. Is oh, but another one right there. It's a little guy, but look, there's another fish in the same zone, you guys. Literally did not even make a move. Devin just cranked her drag a little bit. It was loose on that reel. Ooh, but what if there's like four, five, six fish we can get to eat right here? That's three. Okay, let's stop. There's probably a fish on this, just like, just not far down. Ooh. Is my... Oh, yep. you have one. Dang, and that's not even a bad one. What? Dang. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, we saw that swirl. That's when he ate it. Yeah, wow, that's, that's funny. Fun. Swim bait might be good here, just to kind of scour this top of that hump. Don't You don't have to switch if you don't want to. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that the Texas rig is just going to keep catching them off of these stumps, but one foot, five foot, it keeps kind of varying. It could be good just to get a couple casts through here. Not feeling it, just push back. Okay. 
to get any more shade over there that we haven't hit yet. Maybe it'll be like the right depth also. Weird. Oh. Got him. First cast. Saucy swimmer up on top of the hump. Nice. That could be a bigger one. Ooh, okay. He just got some grass. <laughs> Literally, though, you were on to something when you said that. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, that one did not make the cut in the box. I think it's like deep, and I think it goes out to a point, and then kind of comes back in, and we're kind of up on that hump right now. And so I was saying, you know, with it all being fairly shallow, maybe just cruise the swim bait, fan cast it a couple times, boom, first cast with the saucy swimmer on underspin. Uh, I'm still rocking the jig because we didn't know if that was going to work or not but uh maybe it's best to get two moving baits in here for a moment i don't know yo the new scorpion dc is so sick you can cast it one-handed check this out oh swoosh hit the tree <laughs> you suck at fishing <laughs> dude you can catch any of them with one hand <laughs> oh, nice timberlake <laughs> nice <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all i know the idea was to throw the uh bait finesse systems reel tonight but it's looking like the conditions are pointing in all other directions the water is not very clear the cover is very thick and it is not the ideal time to break out those finesse cranks i do not believe so what we're going to do since we're catching them all on bottom baits anyways is just switch it up showcase another summer tactic as the water here is even way hotter than i thought low 90s low to mid 90s so we're going to break out the mondo worm to try and catch a giant they're still hitting up shallow we're going to work a lot of these trees going back into this last little cut see if we can catch a big one before sunset but we still have the scorpion dc we would love to showcase a nice little frog blow up on before the night is over so be prepared for a big blow up at the end of the night hopefully we can secure the deal on the scorpion after a potential mondo worm catch and devon is still throwing the bandito bug as she's had more and more bites and it seems to be what they're wanting is those creature and craw baits for now but let's see if we can get a hit on that worm back here the water temperature is colder it's 88 Jump. oh it's a big one oh Oh, it's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, I feel good. Whew. There we go. Cooler water temps, black and blue worm. That might be a, that might be the heaviest one of the day, but I don't know. It's it's not like the longest fish ever, but nice summer bass on the Mondo worm. I thought I lost him too. I felt him pick it up aggressively. Yeah. And then like I, I didn't feel any weight, but he was just bringing it towards me. So first one of the year, I think, on the Mondo worm for me. Yeah, I felt like a, and I was like, oh snap, like that was a fierce hit. And then I felt myself like what I thought was coming over, like I just kind of felt like it was light. Like maybe I just hit some stumps and it was light. So I was like, okay, I didn't have them. And then I saw the line swimming and I'm like, oh no, he did grab it. He was just coming at me. So I didn't feel anything after that. Oh gosh, what's going on with this one? Wow, they've got you around stumps over here. The big ones are coming out after the Mondo worm. Nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The big ones are after the black and blue Mondo worm. What the heck? Oh. Wow. Yeah, I almost fell in. Oh my gosh. Some bigs running around in there now. <laughs> nice. I'll let you take them over. Oh. Nice. oh, whoa, whoa, fighting back. Fighting back. Oh no, maybe. No. Oh, he's still there. He's there, he is. He's not that crazy big. Okay, never mind. Oh, oh no, he came off. Yeah, it's all right. I'm gonna switch the color and go walking frog. More subtle. Well, and then a color that pops more in stained water. Much better than that popping frog to get through this crap. Whoa. Did you see that oh my gosh. No, I didn't see it. I wonder if you need to set the hook again. It's probably good, but like, wow. And that's a good one. <laughs> He just smoked it at the boat. That. I just saw my freaking. Oh my butt. gosh. I wonder if we should both be using those. He oh smoked my gosh. It at the boat. <laughs> that was dope. He was chasing it all the way out. Yeah, he was. Sometimes they do that and then they come off. You know what yeah, I mean? That's no, why I, I said to set it again. Because it's like if you if you weren't expecting it, they usually always hook themselves good. Really hard. Oh. 
Jeez, they're hitting it fierce. They're going crazy. Oh my gosh. That was on the Mondo worm. He smoked it. Wow. Like, they smack it today. This is cool. Jeez. There we go. Come on. Oh, oh. No, he's on. <laughs> Bang. Oh, well, there we go. First one on the scorpion. As soon as I switched over to the frog, but he came off. Dang it. Wow. I'm like, this thing has been bad luck all day. Something is like wrong with this reel, I think. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it was great the first day we took it out. <laughs> all of a sudden now, like we're going back and forth on using it and tying different baits on and like, we're going to catch a big fish on this. That's the whole point. We want to catch something good on this new scorpion. And it is not happening. <laughs> it's cursed. Wow. He was on for a while too. You got one? Oh, gee, oh my gosh, a double flop. Some more top water blow ups for sure is what I would like to have. Oh God, the drag slipped. Oh my, why, why did the drag slip? It's cause it's this new braid and it's not tightened down all the way, I guess. That slipped so hard. The fish just like didn't even get hooked. That was bad. Yeah, was like three yeah that was quick. Oh, I'm seeing fish on the screen. Got him. He took it under. He didn't even like explode on it. That was weird. All right, well, we got one on the scorpion, but it's not the giant we were hoping for. I'm going to get this one back in the water because the frog bite out of nowhere seems to be on. I think they're just feeding on the dam, and really it's just this spot more than anything. So first one on the filthy frog. By the way, guys, anything and everything we've been throwing today, basically, from the Guggen rods to the, uh, the line, the braid, the floral carbon, all the baits, these filthy frogs, the saucy swimmers. What else have we been throwing? I mean, like I threw the swim jig for a minute. We caught fish on the Mondo worm, all this stuff. GuggenSquad.com, and you guys can save 10% with code Weston. So we're going to tear this bank up. I think it's going to be good fish in here for the rest of the evening. Hopefully we catch a few more for you guys. Stick around because we might have the biggest fish yet to bite. Swam out though, like. Got him. Got him. That might be a good one. Nice. Oh, wow. This one's going crazy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> nice one on the filthy frog. Oh, my gosh. That frog is gone. <laughs> wow. He wanted it. That was right where we saw that wake, I think. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's a good fish, y'all. Filthy frog pulling through. I like to throw the black color, the black belly, uh, as, like, there's a lot less light, like, nighttime or if it's stained water. So we kind of got a mixture of both. I, I like throwing the... The white belly in that clearer water so that's just kind of my go-to i've mentioned it in a few recent videos but that's a solid chunker right there nice fish we've worked probably i don't know 25 30 percent of this bank right here i got a feeling this could be this could be a little frenzy oh golly it's lights out here with the sauce and the frog man they're going all they're going berserk seems like the bigger ones are on the frog if you want to throw it all right y'all the sun has set and uh, we might work the rest of the bank here for just a minute, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these fish out of the live well, snap a couple pictures, and get this thing prepped and ready. We're about to hightail it on out of here. It is getting dark quick. Would love to thank Private Water Fishing for adding this property to the roster though. Timber Lake, you guys, out in Sulphur Bluff, if you guys want to fish this property, remember, become a PWF member, get the place all to yourself. It's always a ton of fun coming out here to these locations. And you can really dial the place in when you have it all to yourself. It's not like another boater's gonna cut you off because they see you catching fish on the dam and they're gonna work this other half and like, you know, and you're really able to to dial in new techniques if you want to throw different baits that you're not used to and get some confidence because you really have the time to work the good looking areas at these unique properties this one being one of the premier destinations we absolutely love this spot we'll be back again soon we got some decent ones in the live well and then we're gonna go ahead and call it quits for the evening y'all hope you enjoyed today's episode let's get these things in the water real quick all right guys got a handful of pictures these guys have some sharp teeth we are getting them back in the water ah, he literally bit me oh my gosh these bass are really feisty. And <laughs> there he goes. <gasps> Alright, thanks so much for watching everybody. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ooh, how's that drag? I think we're good, but oh. Just a little, just a little. Nice. Nice. Good fish. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go.